Yeah, once you've had your kind of first wobbles on it, it is quite easy. I guess the reason it's called a hoverboard is that it's definitely easier if you keep moving. It's a bit like a skateboard cross with skis because, as you can see, you steer with one foot or the other and it does have that slight movement between it. I can see why they've been selling one every 12 seconds in the run-up to Christmas. And that's why it's the safety is such an issue. And the problem they've been with these is actually more to do with this, the bit that I'm holding, isn't it? Just explain. Yeah, so it's been the, the, the plug sockets that has been a problem with. These pictures here show uh, what it looks like when it goes wrong. And there's been quite a few examples. This one uh, exploded in someone's bedroom while it was on charge. So what people can do if they've already bought one of these is actually have a look at these chargers. Um, if you look closely at that one, you can see there's a British standard marking on it. And it's also encased by the right amount of plastic, showing it's got a fuse inside. But if people are concerned, the advice is they need to contact the retailer. Inside here, there are all sorts of electrical components. There's a battery that could go wrong. There's the switch when it overheats. So the ones that haven't been made properly, there is that risk. We've, we bought this one at a major retailer. And from looking online, there haven't been problems with this particular brand. But people do have to be a bit careful. Yeah, really careful. How are people supposed to know if their brand is OK? I mean, it's not just from looking at the plug. Yes, this has got a BS British standard on it. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this is safe. It could be a fake, couldn't it? Yes, and a lot of these are being made quite cheaply, quite a lot are being imported from China. So we know that there have been problems with quite a few of them. The best advice we have, because there isn't a list of brands that are, that, are, that, are, that are unsafe, so the best advice we have is to contact the person that you bought it from, the retailer, and try and find out whether there have been any safety concerns. Obviously, big retailers like Amazon, they have taken the step uh, today to pull them completely from uh, their website, as have Argos. That may be partly because the retailer is trying to cover themselves. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you bought it from Amazon or from Argos that there's a problem with that particular hoverboard. And if you want a refund, do you have to return it first? because there's been some advice this morning you should get rid of it get a refund at the same time what's the actual yes yeah, so advice Amazon have been saying to customers just throw it away we will refund you if you know if that's what you want if you think there's a safety issue we will refund you just throw it away but I think again as with all of these kinds of situations it's always better to contact the people who you bought it from and find out what their particular policy is they're really expensive aren't they what they range between 200 and 500 pounds so it's not something you're going to want to throw away is it you're gonna to have to think long and hard about it for some people yeah so this one costs 295 pounds i would say that's kind of average from the ones we've seen obviously you can spend a lot more on them it's not a cheap present obviously if you've bought someone this perhaps one of your kids this is their major present so if it's sitting wrapped under the christmas tree and you're concerned about it this is an awful thing i think for people now having to wonder what else they could possibly buy that would replace this in just over a week's time. Yeah, and also it's not just a safety issue in terms of the electronics. People have to be aware that there have been people who've had accidents while they've been using them. They're actually illegal to use on the roads, aren't they? Yeah, so we're fine using it in the studio. That is completely legal, but we can't use them on the roads, on the pavements. Uh, there was a teenage boy who collided with a bus last week, a terrible accident, and he actually died as a result. Um, they are a little bit wobbly um, getting on and off, so I definitely would suggest that anyone who's trying it maybe do it with someone else to help uh, and just take it easy at the beginning I'll be here to help you get off Harriet thank you for taking us thank through you. the uh, problems with these and also for expertly demonstrating it for us thank you